How are we doing tonight? We are back for another new recipe, and this one's going to be beef stroganoff because it sounds really good for the cold nights we've been having. And it's supposed to be 14 degrees tomorrow morning or something stupid like that. So, anyway, so we're going to make some beef stroganoff tonight, which will require, of course, beef, stewing beef. Usually, you can find stewing beef already chunked up like this in the store. So, I'll use about a pound of that. Um, there's going to be some mushrooms uh, sliced up, about eight ounces of mushrooms, on, uh, onion all chopped up, some garlic, salt, pepper, some beef broth, oil, and then eventually, of course, uh, the egg noodles that go in for the beef broth, so for in the, in the uh, whole stew. So, beef choking off. Um, we're going to start by putting two tablespoons-ish of oil in, I've already got the pan heating up here. And I'm going to, throw in the beef. Break that all up there. And already, turn it down a little bit. Already spitting the oil at me. All right, we're going to let this start to brown a little bit. I'm actually going to um, put a little bit of salt and pepper on this, too. We want to kind of season this meat up a little bit as we're doing this. So I'm going to break it up, make sure that all the chunks are loose so that they all get browned evenly. And then I'm going to throw some salt and pepper in. So the salt... Like so. And pepper. Like so. And then, oops, one. And then, stir these all around so that they're all seasoned up here. Yeah. You can see they're getting brown pretty good already. So we'll let that um, start browning for a while here. And when we're all brown and ready to add the next ingredients in, we will be back. All right, we have tenderized mushroom and onion. So now garlic. Put that in. It's only going to take a minute or two for that to be ready to go. So we'll just keep stirring it up here. Let's turn the heat down just a tad. And what we'll end up doing here after this garlic's been sauteing for just a minute or two. Um, I'll put in the beef broth, the wine, the Worcester sauce, and the beef back in. And then we'll get it up to simmering and um, let it simmer for 45 minutes. So it's going to be a while to get this all prepared. Um, but it's already kind of smelling good. So. And, and if my videographer will look over here earlier today, so I've told you many times, I try to make multiple meals at once during the day so that I can have stuff throughout the week. So over here, a little steamy there, we've got, I just made fresh um, French onion soup for tonight. So I'm gonna, in a little while, toast up some French bread and put a little Gruyere cheese on it have that for dinner tonight while we're finishing up our beef stroganoff but that way we'll have several meals throughout the week ready to go. So if you're making the kitchen dirty you might as well make a lot of meals out of it. All right I think we're ready to add in. Okay so we're gonna put in six cups of beef broth. So one of these boxes is four cups. 32 ounces means four cups. 
So we, get, we know we can just pour this in. And then we will put in two more cups from the other box. Spoon of Worcestershire sauce. Yeah, a little bit more because I like to taste Worcestershire sauce. Okay. And then uh, I've got some red wine here that some of our neighbors gave us for a present. So we put in a half cup of red wine. And don't worry, the alcohol cooks off when you put wine in things and boil it and cook it and that kind of stuff. It, it's not, you'll taste it, but you won't be getting drunk from the beef stroganoff. And we will mix that around carefully. All right, I'm gonna turn the heat back up, and get it to simmering. Once it's simmering, I'm gonna put the lid on it, let it simmer for about 45 minutes, and then we will be back when it's ready to, oh, the beef thrown off. Beef needs to go in now too. I'm gonna put the beef back into there so that's all simmering in that, in those juices and cooking the meat the rest of the way. So meat, I didn't, you know, I didn't do the meat to where it was done done. I did it to where it's browned, but it's gonna simmer for 45 minutes and that's gonna cook it even more. So you don't need to get it all the way to the, like, like you would be ready to pull it off and eat it right there. It's still, um, if I cut them open, it'd probably still be a little pink inside, but that's okay because it's gonna simmer. So, all right, so we will bring that up to a boil, get that back down to a simmer, I'll put the lid on it, and we'll be back in 45 minutes or so when we're ready to add the final touches, okay? See ya. All right, we are back to the final touches here for our beef stroganoff. Um, so it's been simmering for about 45 minutes or so. I'm gonna steam up the camera there for a minute so you can see it's been simmering away. I'm going to move this over here, out of the way. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to I put I put three tablespoons of water, cold water, in here already. I'm going to put three tablespoons of cornstarch um, because this is going to what's going to kind of thicken up the broth. So you want to mix it in the bowl first. because otherwise you might get lumps in the broth. So use cold water, whisk it all together. And it, you can, it'll be a little sticky at the bottom down there, but just make sure you scrape along the bottom, get all that cornstarch mixed in. going to now pour it into the stroganoff mixture over here. Now I'm going to actually switch my whisk because this is a, a, a better whisk for the pan, it doesn't scratch it up. So Mix that all together, and now with that mixed in, stir that a little bit. 
If you stir it a little bit, it'll, it'll kind of thicken up that, like I said, the broth a little bit with the stroganoff. And then, last thing is, um, about a half cup of sour cream goes in. So, half cup sour cream. all that together, the sour cream will quickly melt into the hot broth there. Get it all mixed in. in it, make sure all the lumps are out. Still see some of the lumps of the sour cream still melting away in there, so trying to make sure that's all broken up. You can see that it's gotten a little bit a little bit thicker. Now the recipe calls for Taking, so I've, I've got the uh, egg noodles over here that are just um, just done and uh, I, I made I started making them and it takes nine or eleven minutes for the package so I started getting those boiled so they're ready to go the, the recipe says throw the noodles in the bottom of the bowl and then ladle the soup in on top of that um, I, I'm gonna do a little bit different because as I said earlier, we're having French onion soup tonight for dinner. Um, so since we're not gonna have this right away, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix the noodles in now. So I'm gonna turn off the noodles, take over here and drain them. I used about a half of the package of noodles. You can certainly use whatever amount you like. All right. That is going to all mix together now wonderfully. And I'm gonna take a minute to check on my bread. I've got French bread in here uh, getting ready for our French onion soup, so I want to make sure that's not getting charred in there. It looks fine. Okay, we have beef stroganoff made. Um, I will attempt. It's going to be really hot, but I'm going to try to taste a little bit and see what it tastes like. So, uh, let's see here. I'm just gonna get a little bit with noodle and I'm gonna get some of the beef in there. Okay, I'm gonna take this over the sink, let it cool for a minute, otherwise I'm going to scream and yell and burn myself. So I'm just letting it gonna cool for just a minute. Then I'll try it, because blowing on the noodles and the soup and every part, that would be fine, but the meat is gonna be really hot when I bite into it, so. It's good, okay. 
Um, so everybody has some beef broken off. It's really good. Um, not too terribly difficult to make. But actually, most of the thing was um, the prep ahead of time, just chopping things up. The beef's already, like I said, comes in from the store already cubed. That's pretty easy. So, there we go. Um, try it, tell me what you like. Okay, see ya.